just another water break. <clears throat> I wake up in a strange room. Solid morning light shimmers against the light gray ceiling. I had forgotten to draw the curtains closed last night. I? This is my room, isn't it? My room. This is the third room this year that I'm supposed to call mine. Various things around here remind me that, indeed, it's me who is supposed to be the one living here. My bags on the floor, my new school books on the desk, my numerous medications on the night table. I stare at the bottles for a moment, deliberating, until I open a bottle, shake out a pill, and pop out a tablet from a foil sheet. I down them with a chaser of water without thinking about the chemistry. My uniforms are in the closet. I slink out from under the sheets and stretch my back before dressing up. Putting on a new school uniform feels like dressing in someone else's clothes. The artificial smell of generic detergent invades my nose, but the feeling of fresh cloth against my back is a good one, a natural one. It feels like a school uniform, as it should. It's not much different from what I used to wear before. That goes for other things too. So far, this place seems more, more or less like a normal school except for the people. I think back to my talk with Kenji yesterday, Misha's constant laughter and Shizune's sweeping sign language gestures. While I've only met three students so far, maybe they aren't that normal, but I'm sure others are. Or perhaps people like them are what passes for normal around here. Yeah, what does pass for normal students around here, or normal around here? What do people do? I didn't see a lot of kids hanging around after classes yesterday, so maybe there are clubs. If so, I wonder if I should join one. All through class, the, the question remains on my mind, so I decide to ask Shizune about it when we split into groups. After all, she did say if I had anything I wanted to know, I should ask her. She crosses her arms and shifts her gaze slowly to Misha, who looks more preoccupied with trying to grind the eraser of her pencil down so that the top is perfect and evenly flat. Ah, ah ha ha ha. Sorry, sorry, Shi-chan. Is there something you wanted from me? Oh, I see. Hmm, huh. that's a good question, he chan My first thought is that means she doesn't know, which is worrying. Maybe I'm being too negative. Well, anyway, Misha, please don't prove me right. Oh, that's right. Everyone is encouraged to join a club. A lot of people do so because there isn't really anything else to do. There are also school events, like the festival, coming up in a few days. Almost every student at the school tends to help out with it, doing whatever. So, you actually transferred in at a busy time. Maybe you can help out too. Sure. What's the festival about? Misha freezes. Wahahaha! I don't know, Hee-chan. The truth is, it's a local event, and I'm not from this area, so... She starts signing desperately to Shizune, asking her to bail her out. Shizune adjusts her glasses at the end of an oddly grandiose flourish and starts signing hard and heavy. Huh? Oh. Who cares? Misha puffs out her chest as she shouts Shizune's words out at me with a dis disproportionate amount of pride. Too loud. I can see heads turning to look in our direction. Not so loud. Human beings evolve with each new generation. The ideals and beliefs behind a festival will inevitably change with time. Now, it's about delicious fried food and amusing little games that you play to win prizes. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. If you're wondering why, like, I pause slightly, it's because I'm trying to clear my throat. The teacher clears his throat very loudly, batting his long wooden pointer against his other palm like a baton. He shoots a pointed gaze at us. 
It's because I'm not used to talking this much, like, in a row. Because usually you read novels by just in your head, usually. You don't usually read them uh, out loud, right? So this is new to me. But it's something I have to get used to, especially when I'm doing the series. Finally noticing where we are, Misha stifles the yelp and quietly quiets down. Shizune doesn't seem embarrassed at all, though brushing it off without a care. We are in the middle of class, and should start working. That's right, Shi-chan. What? That's right. The Hee-chan, are you asking me asking because you're interested in joining a club? It could have been my eyes playing tricks on me, but I think I saw a su suspicious glance exchanged between them. Misha's tone has also changed, although it does that every other word, anyway. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Misha and Shizune look at each other again. I'm about to ask what they have in mind when something dark flutters in my peripheral vision, catching my attention. Out of the corner of my eye, I see the girl with long, dark hair get up from her desk and slip silently towards the door. It doesn't seem like she was working in any group, and no one seems to notice her but me. I glance at the teacher, who is also looking at the dark-haired girl, go. Why doesn't he say anything? He chan Is something wrong? Do I look as un as uneasy as I feel? Or was Misha just looking at me, looking after the girl who left? No, nothing. Okay, well, like we were asking, you don't have any plans for lunch today, do you? I thought I would go to the library and pick up some books. Not really. Do you want to have lunch together then? Sure. Yay! Wahahaha! <laughs> okay, Hee chan, perfect! <sighs> the rest of the class passes uneventfully. The girl with the long hair never came back. Before I have time to put any more thought into where she could have gone, the teacher informs us that it's time to stop working. Shizune looks more than a little annoyed that we only just barely managed to finish all our work on time. I'm just glad we finished it at all. It's not a contest or anything. Yes it is, Hee-chan. Impossible. Really? Really? I've noticed this before, but it's kind of funny how Misha is always moving her hands and signing not only everything she says, but what anyone else is saying at any given time. Obviously, it must be so Shizune can understand it. Her eyes dart back and forth between Misha's hands and me. I don't know who I'm supposed to be looking at. I'm talking to Misha, but that might be wrong. Maybe I should face Shizune. I'm used to looking in the direction of the person whose voice I'm hearing. But really, Shizune can't hear me. But it would be disrespectful to talk to her only through Misha. Then again, isn't that what she's doing? No, she's at least looking at me. This is all very confusing and will take some time to get used to. It's not a contest, because contests are competitions over a prize. If there's no prize on the line, it's not actually it's not really a contest. Shizune's eyes flash dangerously with a competitive glare. <laughs> Bruh. She stares at me, as if surprised that I'm challenging her. I think maybe this is a contest to her. I never noticed before how dark and blue her eyes are. It's truly an alluring gaze. Are you sure, Hee-chan? Very sure. Ha 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 ha! You're wrong, Hee-chan. Because I don't want to be the slowest one in the class. Therefore, what's on the line is my confidence in my abilities, and the prize is the satisfaction of proving them. Wah! <laughs> Shizune pushes her glasses up the bridge of her nose in every in in a very matter-of-fact way. I'd argue more, but the bell rings, and she quickly gets up and picks up her bag, looking at me expectantly. I had almost forgotten that I was supposed to have lunch with them. I like this music right now. Where do you want to eat? The cafeteria? Ha 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 ha, that's so plain. Okay, let's go. Plain? Well, I guess. At my old school, I like to eat outside near the back of the building. 
It was a good spot, but I didn't find it until near the end of my freshman year. I wonder if there's a similar place to eat here. Misha seems to imply as much. Shizune and Misha pull me towards the cafeteria, which is surprisingly not packed. Maybe some students favor eating in classroom or outdoors. I saw some of my classmates had box lunches. After we finish eating, Misha picks up where we left off earlier. So, Hee-chan, you wanted to know about clubs and stuff, right? Right? Right, Shi-chan. Okay, I guess it makes sense to ask first. Exchanging little nods of confirmation, they turn to face me again, and Misha straightens her posture as if she is about to deliver a speech. Hee-chan, do you have anything you're really interested in? I used to play soccer, but I'm not really into it. I don't follow the teams and players or anything like that. As of late, I usually just read a lot. Hmm, there is a book club, right, Shi-chan? Right, but it seems like they have all the members they can possibly have right now. Sorry, Hee-chan, it's a really popular club. Ah, okay, but more to the point. Hee-chan, does this mean that you don't have a thing already in mind? Not really. Good, great, that's great, Hee-chan. Really great. Ha 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 ha. Why do I feel like I'm like when she laughs? It just reminds me of like Wario or something. Why is it so great? No reason. Well, Hee Chan, other than clubs and the upcoming festival, there is one other thing Student Council. I see. I didn't know the school had a student council. That was a very melodramatic setup, though just to tell me that. I'm pretty sure the two of them know this, because Shizune looks a little embarrassed about it, and Misha is laughing. Shizune quickly retakes control of the discussion, in a matter of speaking. After all, it's still Misha who has to voice whatever she says. Ha 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 ha, hmm? Right, right. Hee-chan, maybe you should join the student council. They could use more people. Yes, definitely. You should definitely join. Why? Well, for one, we could hang out every day, Hee-chan. Shi-chan and I are both in the student council. Actually, Shi-chan is the president. Hmm. I'm starting to get the suspicion that Shizune and Misha might, un might not exactly be the most unbiased people to talk about this with. As if reading my mind, Shizune quickly adjusts her glasses and signs something to Misha. <laughs> of course, we're not trying to get you to join just because we would obviously benefit from you joining the student council, and therefore have an incentive to try and get you to- So you're admitting that? <laughs> no, we admit nothing. I mean, Hee-chan, of course it would be nice if you joined, and we'd appreciate it. But even without all that, joining the student council shows a healthy interest in the workings of one school. Yep, it's true, Hee-chan. Besides, don't you want to spend time with us after school, Yi-chan? I can't tell if she's being genuine or if this is just really good acting. Both of them seem to tr be trying hard to look their cutest, although they are already pretty cute to begin with. Well... So it's settled then. Welcome to the student council, Yi-chan. What? No! No! Ah, see, Yi-chan? Of course it wouldn't go so easily. What was that puzzle? Okay. Yep, that's right. Though, it would be boring if it went that smoothly. Oh well, Shi-chan owes me candy now. You were betting on it? Hey, my life is not a game here. Oh. Shizune seems very intrigued by this when Misha signs it to her. The aggressive glint returns to her eyes. Wahahaha! That's interesting, Hee-chan. Let's play a game. That's not what I said. How about rich man- How about rich man, poor man, Hee-chan? If you lose, you have to join the student council. No, absolutely not. Ah, uh, why not? Well, because you two both 
you two both have the same incentive, and therefore the same goal, which is to get me to join the student council, right? Yep. Yeah, that isn't my goal. But what this means what this means is that both of you can team up, and I'll be at a clear disadvantage. So I will have to decline. Hee Chan, I'm very offended. Are you saying you don't trust us, and that we would pull something so d d disingenuous? That makes me sad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's hard to tell where Shizune's influence ends and Misha's thoughts begin. In, or in order to atone for hurting a young girl's feelings, you should definitely join the student council. No! How about a game of paper football, instead of rich man poor man? Paper football? Yeah, it's a game they play in America. You make a paper triangle, and then you try to shoot it past goalposts that the other player makes with their fingers. Isn't it cool? It's the ultimate form of competition between two people, hee -chan. I don't know why... <laughs> I don't know why I emphasize that, but... <laughs> and it's also played by elementary and middle school children, Shi-chan. Shi-chan? Wahahaha! <laughs> that means it's a game that really separates the boys from the men. More like the boys from the slightly older boys. Anyway, I'm not going to play that either. Just the fact that you know it, know about it means you're probably surprisingly good at it. Hahaha, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. How did you know, Hee-chan? Shizune frowns at Misha, telling me that she probably wasn't supposed to admit that so readily. I wouldn't say that I'm happy with their attempts to get me to the student council, but I'm a little curious about what the student council does here. I've never been on one before, or even known anybody who was a member, so it interests me. I also kind of like Shizune and Misha, so maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Okay, Hee-chan, how about Risk, the game of world domination? I don't know what that is. It's really fun, Hee-chan. You fight for control of the world with armies and everything. Sounds like Shizune would be good at it. If you want to play, we can after school. Ah, really, Shi Chan? We can just play. We can play just for fun, Hee Chan. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> we can play just for fun, Hee Chan. That's okay. Okay. I'm so bad at this. Shi Chan hasn't played in a long time, so if you want to, there are no strings attached. Adding a comma with her voice is really weird. I don't know why. Well, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. We'll see you after school in the student council room, then, Hee-chan. Wait, why there? Because that's where we keep the game! Wahahaha! <laughs> I grimace to tell them how much I do not like this, but it's more for show than anything. So in the end, I agree, but only after getting Shizune to acknowledge that I don't mean anything concrete, just by accepting to take a look around and play a game with her. Lunch ends and we go back to class. <sighs> Another water break. <clears throat> During afternoon classes, the long-haired girl comes back and sits down in her seat without a word. Again, no one seems to notice, or if they do, no one says anything. I want to ask Misha about it, but I don't want to be noisy. Uh, no, no, noisy. Nosy. After school, Shizune and Misha quickly find me by the first floor lobby and latch onto me, covering each flank in case I might try to escape. I feel a little offended, but I've been considering it. Uh, nevertheless, I'm a bit disturbed that peop enough people have made a break for it in the past that they're on their guard. What's with the escort? This doesn't make me feel very comfortable. In fact, it makes me feel a little like uh, makes me feel like a dangerous prisoner being transported to his cell. Wahahaha! What's wrong, Hee Chan? That's right. We're just going to go play a game of Risk. Remember? I don't know, Misha. This all seems a little sinister to me. I don't. I start thinking that when we sit down to play the game, they'll tie me down and torture me until I agree to join the student council. Well, that's highly unlikely, but still, for some reason, it just seems like it would be so plausible. 
Getting to the student council room is as simple as turning two corners from where we started. What? That's it? This makes you guys being so on top of me seem a little silly. That's not true, Hee-chan. Shi-chan says that when their life is threatened, people have shown the capability to pull off superhuman bursts of speed. Life is threatened? Her expression is unchanging. Misha signs something amusedly to Shizune, who makes a baffling face and puts her hands behind her back, looking pleased with herself. <laughs> Misha feigns deafness and hums cheerily. Oh, it's supposed to be a hum. Stop that. I know you heard me. You have no excuse, unlike Shizune. Shizune opens the door to the student council room. It's a very plain, sparsely decorated room. Although it is quite large, maybe even quite a little larger than the classroom. There's a big table in the center surrounded by chairs and a smaller desk prominently placed in the back that I assume is Shizune's. There are a few regular desks and chairs stacked to one side as well. Extras, perhaps? Aside from the tables and chairs, the room doesn't have much else to offer. Just a couple of filing cabinets and bookshelves stacked with old school records and documents. Not much else. In fact, nothing else. This is a pretty bleak room. They could at least put a potted plant in here, or something. But the most notable thing that this room doesn't have is other people. Are we early? No. What do you mean, no? Does it mean nobody else is coming today? Yeah, that's right. Before I manage to ask why that's the case, Shizune claps her hands together very energetically. Hee-chan, let's play Risk. Come on, you promised, didn't you? You have to. Ha 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 ha. Okay, okay, okay. Do you want to know the rules? We can explain to you while we set everything up. While Misha is talking, Shizune takes out what looks like a board game from behind, one of the filing cabinets, and throws it on the table. Actually, this looks kind of interesting. After Misha spends a little too long for her liking running through the basics with a somewhat vague and confusing tutorial, Shizune cuts in and declares the game has started with a de decisive motion, slicing her arm right through the air. Shizune's aggressiveness is rubbing off onto me. I start feeling more competitive than I intended to be when I agreed to this. Halfway into the game, while I try to ponder how to defend against Shizune's assault from two fronts, she breaks my concentration by drumming her fingers on the table to get my attention. Hey Chan, Shi Chan wants, wants you to know that you're taking too long to make a move. Shi Chan also says that she will let you keep Australia if you agree to join the student council. I thought this game was. I, I thought this was a game with no strings attached. Just the fact that she would dangle that over my head as an offer means that she knows I care about the outcome of this game. And anyway, no! Shi Chan admires your fighting spirit and would be a benevolent dictator who will spare your people if you, if you agree to join the student council. <sighs> it's hard to keep up with her energetic tone, dude. Oh my gosh. Ha 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 ha. You're so competitive, Shizune. She seems to take this as a compliment. I would expect the student council president to be a little more magnanimous. Magnanimous? She doesn't seem to know what the word means or how it's signed, so she pulls out a piece of paper and writes it for Shizune, who in return signs it back to Misha. Misha press presses her index fingers against her temples, as if trying to physically imprint the word into her memory. Suddenly, Shizune bursts into a flurry of gestures. Misha looks daunted by the pace of her heated signing. Ah, wait. Please slow down. Shichan? Um, Hichan. Shichan says you're going to lose. Tell her I will crush her world empire with my rebellion. Ah, uh, okay. Whoa, the oo oo face. Those eyes of hers shine with childlike mischief. She says you have no chance if you keep playing like this. No, you won't. Oh, it seems like... I don't remember. I don't remember um, doing this part. Or like... Uh, answering this part, so I guess I did. So maybe I'll just retrace my steps until I get to a point where I uh, have not uh, answered anything yet. I guess that is probably the best thing to do, because I was obviously 
doing it with the intention of getting to a certain route that I personally wanted, I think. But I don't remember. It's been like two years since I played this game. Like, started it. But I actually never finished any of the routes in this game. So, let's see. Let's see where this takes us. She is either really mocking me or trying to trick me. I have nothing else to lose, though, so I might as well try something different. Maybe if I spread out my forces and try to control more territories, I can recoup the advantage. Shizune seems to focus on conquering whole nations, so maybe I can sacrifice my hold on continents to gain more small countries. It's worth a shot. A few turns later, I end up losing the game anyway. Shizune adjusts her glasses victoriously and allows herself to tentatively pump a fist in the air in celebration. I win! I win! Yay! She's like a little kid. There's no need to. Tr there's no need to translate that. It was pretty clear. Wahaha! Don't look so sad, Hichan. You were really giving it your best. That's what I thought. Sometimes your best just isn't good enough, though. If anyone knows that, it's me. You did very well for someone who just learned how to play today. Hee-chan, you attacked Iceland and North America at the same time. That's a very daring move. Shi-chan is impressed. The mark of great people is that they are daring, and that they can follow through. You are already halfway there. Isn't that great, Hee-chan? That isn't enough though. Just potential isn't enough. There's no point to potential if you don't take the first step, and there's no point to that if you don't keep going. I want to see more. You're right, Chi-chan, but that's so demanding. Shizune leans forward, suddenly looking a lot less playful and more like the serious person I expected her to be from the start. Hey chan would you like to join the student council? She really doesn't waste any time, does she? But... It's only my second day of school, so I'm hesitant about committing to something so early. I haven't even taken a look at any other clubs yet. But spending time with Shizune and Misha doesn't seem like something I would hate. I still need more time to think about it before I decide for sure. Maybe. I'll get back to you on it. Okay, hee chan But I hope you're not just saying that so that we don't feel bad. No, really. Really? Hee-chan, if you're going to say that, you're saying that it is definitely the truth, and there can't be any mistaking it. I know, I know. I guess I should have my revenge for losing, at the very least. <laughs> Shizune smiles at that in a mischievous way that feels like twisting the knife in the wound of my loss. I take a glance at the clock on the wall and realize I spent far longer playing Risk than I expected. Sorry, I think I have to go. I wanted to go to the library, if it's not closed yet, is it? <clears throat> Shizune scratches her head and gestures at Misha. How hard can it be to determine whether the library is open? There's a clock, right? They're on the wall. It should be, unless the librarian is, abs uh, is absent. <laughs> oh, I think you're right, Chi-chan. We think the library is open. It's on the second floor. Can't miss it. Do you want us to sh Do you want us to show you where it is? No thanks. It's okay. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Oh, I've been recording for so long, guys. I think that would be it. I think this episode will be split into two. The second uh, into the second and third episode, uh, respectively. So, anyways, uh, I think that's enough. The next episode, or the next session, at least, we'll be going into the uh, library, it seems. Or we're going to be trying to find the library. Uh, anyways, have a good day, guys, and see you in the next video.